Hi, I'm Brian Cano from FitnessAtlantic.com, and I'm here with David and um, David Kimberly, who's a fitness model and a successful fitness model who's now getting into competitions. So um, tell me how you got started. Um, being real with the group, I was caught up in the construction market, and I was paying for a home with my construction business. And the house depreciated, the construction business crashed, and I was left with nothing else to do. So I was doing a lot of drinking and a lot of nothing. And one day, very symbolically, I decided that um, I was kicking my own ass every day. And though, if I was really angry, truly, truly angry at my situation, the best way to kick my own ass was to go to the gym and, and really prove it to myself. And uh, when I couldn't run a mile, and I couldn't do, I couldn't bench 170. Uh, that's when I found out how really mad I was on rep five or, or mile one. So, and in the end, about six months later, I had lost a bunch of weight. I was super overweight. I was 26% uh, body fat, 235 pounds, and never presumptuous enough to think that I could ever do anything in, in fitness. Never even crossed my mind. And being as unemployed as I was, and, and there were some results to my to my efforts and my anger. And somebody called me up one day, and somebody didn't show up to set, and a girl was on set and said, "I know this." wannabe guy that doesn't uh, do anything all day and goes to the gym every day and you know he could probably come and they called me up I showed up an hour later and they paid me some money and I thought holy cow there's a there's a whole industry and they pay people money and it was for a blender but it, it was a fitness blender and uh, that's how I got started that's awesome no, that's really good so you tell me a little bit um, before this interview about um, doing the competition today mm -hmm. you know um, I was very fortunate in in the results of my efforts and, and feeling very blessed. It's made me a religious man. And um, I, I kind of skipped some bases. I, I was able to get uh, published and uh, some, some very, very neat opportunities. And uh, I kind of skipped some bases. A lot of times, you know, a lot of the competitors are, are guys that, that enter uh, the competitions. That's how you get published. That's how you get a name. And I kind of skipped those. And as I was looking back, I realized that I should probably cover that ground and edify myself. So here I am. That's awesome. Uh, um, some of the other things you were published in, you said, uh, the magazines? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got um, a two men's workout, best of men's workout, a couple muscle and fitnesses, um, a muscle and performance. And then I, I'm shooting another cover of muscle and fitness on Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you. All right. So uh, anything about your future goals? Anybody you want to thank? You know, I'd like to thank my friends and family who have uh, kind of paid for this. You know, I, I've uh, kind of walked away from my, my life in Utah. I live in Hollywood now. And I've uh, got some sponsors. Glenn Dental paid for my teeth. You know, I got a Joyco paid for me to be here. I, I launched DavidKimberly.com, so that's up. I've got a Facebook. I think everybody does. But uh, the website's up. It's got my story, kind of my before and after pictures. Uh, those have been published as well. It's kind of funny. And that's, that's kind of the way to communicate with me, both of those avenues. That's great. Hey, uh, great. You know, best of luck tomorrow. Oh, man. All I right. appreciate it.